thanks for watching this video i am sijesh and this video we will see how to change hdfs replication factor so there are multiple ways to do this and we will see those things one by one so now we will see how to change replication factor at cluster level so that the new files that we are creating will be with this new change replication factor get into ambari console select hdfs menu and uh, then go to the configuration then search with the filter there is dfs dot replication so that will list the replication factor and other parameters change that replication factor dfs dot replication that value to whatever the value you are going to set so add proper description and save that change so once you have done the change or save that change you may need to restart these components and do restart those components so once you complete the restart and the cluster is up and running so you will have with i mean your hdfs will be with new replication factor so next we will see how to change the replication factor for a directory or file which already exists in hdfs so go to the terminal and type hdfs tfs if you are not sure about the command so that will give you the list of available option and you can see there is an option like set rep which is available for changing the replication factor okay and to see the parameter that it provides iphon r iphon w and replication factor and the path so you can use that uh, for changing the replication so let me check one direct uh, directory slash user root and inside that i have one file and if you see that the three means this is the replication factor for that file and you can use hdfs dfs then uh, set rep iphone r if you want to do it in a directory in a recursive way and iphone w what is a new replication factor and then file or directory name okay if you do it in the directory then whatever the files inside that will be with new replication factor so i executed that command hdfs dfs set rep iphone r and uh, replication factor 1 on this directory slash user root so whatever the directories or files i mean the files inside that directory will be with this new replication so normally it take time depending on the size of the files inside this directory so you can use this command for changing the replication factor for a directory or a file also you can check uh, by using hdfs dfs ls command and see the one on the second column you can see the one after the permission bit so that is the replication factor for this file and also you can use fsck uh, uh, sorry i missed that uh, iphone files i need to add iphone files also so that it will show the replication factor also here you can see the live replica 1 so this is how we can change the replication factor of an existing file at the directory level or file level so next we will see how to change replication factor by passing dfs dot replication parameter along with the commands So here we are using dfs uh, dot replication along with the command. So we can use uh, any of these hdfs command which do a write on hdfs and along with that we can pass this parameter. So use ls command and see the file is created with new replication one. Okay. So. you can verify that using fsck command and verify the block size i mean the block count, count and the replication details by using this command okay. 
so you can see the replication is one here so you can use this option uh, ifnd replication along with any hdfs commands that do write operation in hdfs So that's it about uh, changing the replication factor by passing a DFS replication parameter along with the command. So I hope you like the content. So please do subscribe to get more updates. I will be uploading lot more contents over time. Thank you. Bye.